Hi, I'm Michael Burton, executive producer for Real Entertainment, located in Atlanta, Georgia. We offer full service video production for any project. Now I want to talk to you about how to reformat a Windows XP computer. Let me start off by telling you that Windows XP is a registered trademark of Microsoft and I am not affiliated with Microsoft. Now when reformatting a Windows XP computer, uh, there are several different ways that you can reformat a computer. It just depends on your end goal. Uh, what your end achievement is going to be. If you simply want to restore your computer back to factory conditions, all you would do there is go to your start menu, go to your turn off computer, you would turn off or do a restart, and then upon restart you would hit, I believe it's F10, uh, F10 or F11, I believe it's F10, and that would, uh, that would take you to the system restore. And you could do two types of restore. One, you could do a complete erase factory restore on your computer where it actually erases every data file and every uh, software that has been installed since the day of the purchase and puts it right back to the way that it came the day you bought it, back to factory condition. Uh, the other way that you can do it is you can have it set back to technically factory condition but it still retains your data files so that you don't lose anything that you have created. You will have to go ahead and reinstall your software and programs but you will have retained your data files which are most important. If you're going to do a complete reinstall obviously I suggest backing up your files completely or else you will lose everything. Now if you completely want to reformat your hard drive, that means erase everything off of the hard drive and start with a fresh new install of the operating system. The best way to do this is by having your operating system DVD. Now if you don't have an operating system DVD most computers, when you first purchase them, will allow you to go in and it will ask you to create a, di a set of disks uh, for your computer. You want to do that. You do not want to keep telling them no thanks. You want to go ahead and create those disks. After you've created those disks, when you want to reformat your computer, you're going to insert those disks into the computer and follow the instructions. They will erase your drive. They will reformat your drive and then do a fresh new install on your uh, Windows XP computer. Um, if you do not have those disks or you cannot make those disks, you can order them directly from the factory. Um, there was a place called bootdisk.com and uh, on bootdisk.com you can actually go here and uh, click on the, the software of your choice and it'll give you links to places that you can purchase the software from. Uh, if, if you're if you don't have your Windows XP disk anymore, you can't find the original.